me, Gabriel the Warlord. And I'm going to teach you how to bath your bearded dragon. His name is Skittles. Well, it's a girl. Its name is Skittles, and it's from Petco. Say hi, Skittles. Hi. Now, anyway, I'm going to teach you how to bath it. Get its water running. Get it. Make sure it's warm. But not too hot, because you don't want to cook your bearded dragon. That would be bad. And when you get it about the temperature you want, just whip this up. Well, however you close your sink, it doesn't matter how you close your sink. Then when you think it's about, let me fix this. When you think it's about the temperature you want, you turn off the water and you place your bearded dragon in. Make sure it doesn't over your head. Now here's the part that isn't very fun. You just scrub your bearded dragon. Gotta wet the brush and scrub your bearded dragon. No, I thought you were shedding. That my bearded dragon was shedding, but never mind, it's not. Oh, she's shivering. Oh, oh no, I think she just wanted to have a drink of her water. Scrub your little heady. Have to hold her head in place because if I don't, she flips her head all over the place. And you scrub their chin. They hate it, but you gotta do what you gotta do to bath your bearded dragon. Take it about the tail. You just. Here's the, bad, here's the bad part. Bad part. I'm trying to lift your tail up. Get you over. Okay. You gotta be on. This is the part you hate. You gotta scrub under their stomach. You don't like this part. You gotta scrub their tail. You just gotta scrub it real good. Scrub everything. At the bottom of their tail as well. And also, you shouldn't ever use soap on your bearded dragon. It is very bad for them. It is very, very bad for your bearded dragon. After you're done bathing them, you take them out, and you get a towel from over here. Um... Apparently we don't have any paper. Apparently we don't have any towels in here, so we're gonna have to. So we're gonna have to go get some more towels. So I'm gonna keep scrubbing my bearded dragon, make sure she's clean. While my mom go gets, while my mom go gets, while my mom goes and gets the towel. So she's clean. Gotta make sure that I'm clean, but don't scrub too rough. I'm just trying to get bad stuff off of her. It's dirty and stuff. So I'm really just trying to get all the gunk off or germs and whatever. Okay. So anyway, after you're done doing that, you get her out. You check to make sure there's no more gunk on her. Mine seems to not have any gunk. And take your towel and you wrap it around your dragon. Oh, don't cover their head. And take it. You dry them off. Can I leave covered them up? You really just want to dry them off. After you've dried your bearded dragon. You should always take them back to their cage to warm back up. That's for next week, if you heard that. That's for next week. Here is my bearded dragon's cage. Okay. Mommy, lift it up. And if you have one, put them gently. Give me a stool. Oh, just look at that. Okay. You 
place them gently in their hammock. They have one. They're blowing bubbles, it's okay. They're just making sure they can breathe, which they can if they're blowing bubbles. And after that, you're done bathing your bearded dragon. See you next time.